Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to build a contraption that lets you use an item frame as if it were a lever or a button. So first of all we're going to check out the lever form. If we right click on this it's as if we've right clicked on a lever. We get a redstone signal and it opens a door for us. And then when we right click on it again it's going to turn off that redstone signal and it's going to shut the door. So let's use it one more time so we can walk on through and check out the next one which is where the item frame is acting as a button. So when we click on this we're going to get a redstone signal you see the door opens and then it closes again because like with the button the redstone signal is only going to stay on for a short amount of time. So now we're going to take a closer look at the contraption and I want to say a huge thank you to Knight37x this is not my own work this is actually sent to me in an email and they were happy for me to do a video on it and share it with the community which is a very nice thing of them to do and I had a little search around and it does look like this is actually a first in the Minecraft community couldn't find anything else quite like this so really great contraption and thank you so much for sharing it with us now let's take a closer look I don't fully understand how it works but it's fairly obvious that the comparators here are working with signal strength to create um, an output each time it changes so when you right click on this you get an output now this one right here is for the button you slightly modify it to make the lever one so each time you click on this um, you get an output and uh, this piston here is actually being powered by the output that come from the other comparators so the furnace and the comparator here only come into play when we get to the strongest signal strength so you see that time it stays up and then it goes back around again now one thing that you can do is hold down right click on this and you get a constant output you could consider that breaking your contraption or also being a feature you know if you ever you wanted one input that could be a button or it could be a constant signal then you've got that with this contraption right here now if we move on to the lever one over here when we uh, right click it we get you know our output and then we right click it again and it turns off this is a very similar contraption over here we've now got a sticky piston underneath this block so you can see I've marked those um, with chiseled quartz and that means that the signal here is slightly shorter when it reaches that block and this one doesn't get activated every time until we reach the uh, strongest signal strength and then it gets activated so what we do is we manipulate the output using a one tick repeater put it into a sticky piston that creates a kind of one tick pulse or a T flip flop in some respects and uh, there you can see it pushes the redstone block over and then it pulls it back the other time so now it acts like a lever in order to build this contraption you're going to need some materials and they're all inside this chest. To build the button design you're going to need uh, an item to go inside your furnace, an item frame, an item to put in it, then three pieces of redstone, five comparators, a sticky piston and 12 building blocks. Then if you want to convert this into the lever design you're going to need an additional two sticky pistons, a redstone repeater and a block of redstone. So to build this you want to copy this floor layout right here and then we're going to go back to this block this will be where your item frame is and you're going to put an item in there of course then over to the left of it behind it we're going to put a furnace and just put a single item into this and then to the right of that we're going to put a comparator in front of it a piece of redstone then to the right of that a comparator facing in this direction to the left one facing in that direction and then another one facing forward here you're going to right click on this and put it into subtract mode then we're going to come around here and place a comparator facing into that one with a piece of redstone behind it and then last of all a piece of redstone over here we're going to break this block in the ground put a sticky piston facing upwards put a block on top of that and then this thing is done. So we're going to put a piston over here to represent our output. If we come around to the front here and click on the item a few times, you can see it works as intended. Now we're going to modify this design to act as a lever. We're going to start off by breaking this block and the one below it, put a sticky piston facing upwards, a block on top of it, and then a block to the side of our output here. Put a redstone repeater, point that into a sticky piston with a redstone block in front of it, and that's going to be your output. So let's put a redstone uh, lamp over here as well then we right click on this and you can see it acts like a lever now and that concludes our minecraft tutorial if you have enjoyed it please do consider leaving a like and once again a big thank you to knight37x for sharing this with us there is a well download available in the description box and if you're looking for more useful survival contraptions check out the tutorials playlist down below but otherwise that is it from me this video so as always thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you next time bye bye